Hi everyone, so Shreem Brzee has been making a lot of noise on the internet. We have been receiving amazing amounts of testimonials on Facebook, through YouTube, being writing into PalaiCenter.com on how the use of this wealth mantra, Shreem Brzee, is producing miracles. Unexpected abundance, material blessings, people getting cars, tens of thousands of dollars, inheritances, um, unexpected checks in the mail. So you were asking for some more information about this mantra and I would like to provide that to you. I'm going to share with you what I've learned from Dr. Pillai over the years about this sacred sound, Shreem Burzi, as he coins it the ultimate wealth mantra to create a 200% life, 100% material, and 100% spiritual. So where did this mantra come from? Shreem, as you may know, is a mantra for Goddess Lakshmi. She is the Hindu goddess of wealth, power, beauty, abundance, all types of material blessings she can give you. Um, she can also give you uh, beauty and um, her consort, Vishnu, can bless with wealth and health and anything that is needed to sustain us on the earth plane. All the things that we like to enjoy and need. So Shreem is her sound, the seed sound for prosperity. Brzi is a sound that came from the Saint Vishwamitra and it was passed on to Dr. Pillai through a divine reading. And in this reading, it was said that Saint Vishwamitra meditated for 1500 years in a divine state to come up with this sound. And then it was given to Dr. Pillai in order for him to give, then give it to the world. Dr. Pillai is the one who combined Shreem and Brzee together to create this full mantra that we're using today. So the origins of the sound are very important because that is how the energy gets transmitted to us. So having an initiation of some sort, and that can mean um, a blessing of some sort with this sound is very important. That's why you want to know where you receive it from. You want to be sure to hear it in Dr. Pillai's voice. Use one of the many uh, YouTube videos for free that are available where he blesses and bestows this mantra. There are also several online courses if you want more in-depth meditations with the sound. Now again why the origin is so important is because it's coming from the goddess, the guru, and the sage Vishwamitra, right? And through their blessings we are receiving the power that we need to have these sounds infused so that when we use it we're now doubly blessed in our ability to vibrate with the sounds as well as receive and have the blessings of the living master, Dr. Pillai, the ascended master, Vishwamitra, and the goddess. So, so important that we really get the power of the blessing through the guru and the goddess um, in, in this respect. Now, who is Vishwamitra? He was a saint who was originally a king and there's many different versions of the story. The very short version is he wanted to be able to give his kingdom some more material wealth. There was um, a famine, I believe, and he wanted to be able to help his people. And he saw that there was this saint, he didn't know it was a saint at the time, uh, Vashista, who had a wish-fulfilling cow, and he wanted that cow. So he went to fight Vishwamitra, realized he couldn't, his worldly power, even with his own army, could not defeat a sage, right? Someone who has mastered their inner and thus outer world and has the spiritual power to do anything that they want. So after he was defeated and humil humiliated, um, like I said, different versions of the story, so please go ahead and research your own then he realized, oh, I need that. I need that spiritual power. I need that power because that's the only way I'm going to be able to get and master what I want in this world. And I want to have that, that um, multi-dimensional power. So he then decided to go into uh, deep meditation 
and did attain his sainthood and did um, go on to bless the world with many different things, including the Gayatri Mantra. And now, of course, the Brzee Mantra that he gave directly to Dr. Pillai to distribute in the world. So we are so blessed that these amazing beings, both ascended and living, have given us the gift of this mantra. And it is our duty to use that mantra to the best of our abilities and as much as possible in order to truly get the blessings of what that mantra can give us. So I encourage you to dive in and begin your practice. My next video will be on how you can do that. So this is just introduction on the goddess and the guru and the power of the mantra and the blessings that come from passing it on through this lineage to you. So blessed one, I hope that this reaches you well and that this inspires you to use the mantra and also continue to learn and of course share whatever you receive um, in terms of your material blessings and please let us know how it goes and how your experience with the mantra is. Thank you. Namaste.